The University of Pennsylvania is under fire after nominating transgender swimmer Leah Thomas as the NCAA's Woman of the Year. Yep, I said that correctly. Joining us now, Outkick.com founder Clay Travis. Clay, great to have you here. Here's the award description. The award recognizes female student athletes who have exhausted their eligibility and distinguish themselves in their community in athletics and in academics throughout their careers. You Penn haven't responded to us. Riley Gaines wrote this on Twitter that being the real girl in that photo and also University of Kentucky's nominee for NCAA Woman of the Year, this is yet another slap in the face to women. First a female national title and now nominated for the Pinnacle Award in Collegiate Athletics, the NCAA has made this award worthless. How do you see it, Clay? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. And I have to tell you, Dana, your analysis of the British Open there and then <laughs> tying in NASCAR may have been the greatest Dana does sports segment Thank of you. all time. Thank you. Really on the worked show. on that so over the weekend. I hope the team has pulled that to put it in the Hall of Fame uh, for Dana does sports. I mean, that was big time. But uh, more seriously on this question, this is the culmination of what for years they told us on the left would never happen to women's sports. Anytime you pointed out, hey, wait a minute, there's a lot of men who are deciding to identify as women, and this represents a threat at its most fundamental level to women's athletics. Somebody who is a man is going to come out and set an all-time record in women's sports, and everybody said, no, no, you're making it up. This isn't happening anywhere. Leah Thomas made it happen. Leah Thomas was on the men's University of Pennsylvania swim team, talented collegiate male swimmer, decided to become a woman during his college tenure, then becomes one of the women's champions in the 500, and now nearly sets all-time women's records, and now is being nominated for Women's Athlete of the Year. It, it, I, I salute Riley Gaines because what she is saying is what 99% of women's athletes out there feel, but most of them are so terrified, Dana, because they want to go on to grad school. They want to go on uh, to have a high-earning career because most women's athletes can't go pro in sports coming out of college, and they're terrified that if they're going to apply to grad school or they're going to try to go get a good job, the number one Google result for their name is going to be this. And if you get labeled as transphobic, even if it's totally unfair, it does devalue and impact your career earning opportunities. And not just the girls, by the way, also their families, because mom and dad, if they speak out, may have issues inside of their own professions. And so this is just a culmination of a direct and existential threat mm -hmm. to women's athletics, which is fundamentally unfair and needs to be rectified. And otherwise, every women's sport is going to have the same issue that swimming has right now in the weeks, months, and years ahead. Yep. And they're going from competitions being won to awards being won and money being won at some of these events, like the skateboarder that we talked about a couple of weeks ago. And you still do no not doubt. have former uh, retired uh, professional athletes in the in the in women's category that are speaking out on behalf of these girls and they don't if this does if they don't do so soon I think you're right that this be, is the beginning of the end and it would be a real shame Clay Travis thank you we'll catch you on outkick.com mm -hmm. hi everyone I'm Brian Kilmeade I want you to do me a favor I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page this is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary any great news bites any great interviews coming your way on Fox you can get it all here on YouTube so subscribe right now